Hey guys, so today we're going to be calling this thing, so I've done all of this, and yeah, so now we're going to just color the body and the legs too, so let's get started. For over 200 years, the stock market has been going up and to down like a roller coaster. Let me try to find flat. Yeah, let's y'all right. You what. should do with your retirement. But most people just want to earn a reasonable rate of return. Right, it's right. too simple. Is that what you want? Get your investor's kit and learn how to never lose money when the market goes down. And earn a reasonable rate of return. Go on the DVD, I'll personally explain how it works. You decide if it's right for you. Call 800 557 or tyjyoung.net. Ace is a place for the helpful hardware. Don't miss the Bell Star Buy One Get One Free Sale. Buy one gallon of our Okay. So we're done with this part. Be among the very first to encounter the arc. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to use this uh, washable purple marker. It's like a blue, but Call 1 800 950 MISO for a free consultation. If you've been diagnosed with mesothelioma, get the best care available. Then call us. Mesothelioma, don't fight it alone. It's washable. Washable. Okay. So now, guys, I'm do this part, the purple. So, yeah. So, yeah, we just got this part done now, so let's go start it. By the way, it's a fox. Down, just okay. 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 Ok
You know, it's interesting. It's much easier when you have a teleprompter. And I'm getting great reviews with the teleprompters. When you stand up and you just go at it, it's much more exciting, however. I want to tell you. I think, I think this crowd, I know, I know the folks from Colorado and they're wild. I think if I used the teleprompter with this crowd, they'd be out of here fast. They'd say, let's get out of here. So I just want to thank, this is a tremendous crowd. We really appreciate it. Set up pretty quickly. Well, so Colorado, so tell me a lot about Colorado. I'm so sorry, it fell. So here's what it's okay, looking well, like. And here's the blue that we're using. Doing really well in Colorado. And look good and I was looking forward to it. And then all of a sudden I didn't get the delegates. I said, but what happened to the vote? Do you remember? And I started to learn. You know, I'm a quick learner. I'm a quick learner, but uh, that was an amazing uh, week. Do you remember that? And we had some of you folks probably were out there with a little picketing, a little craziness. And I think they'll probably end up changing. I think they're going to change it next year. And I think you're going to go out and actually vote. Okay, so then we and that's a good thing. Them that's a good them thing. Them so you see what's happening? And I always say the system's rigged. It's rigged. And it's rigged against the people. It's not rigged for the special interest and the lobbyists and people who yeah. want certain things. I used to be one of them. Once I said I'm running, all of a sudden I was like an outsider. Big outsider. Yeah. But I'm glad I did it. Because you know what we have? Oh, yeah. We have a movement going on like they haven't seen maybe ever in this country according to what the pundits are saying. And I tell I tell the story where numerous people, Bill O'Reilly, not so long ago, a few weeks ago, said it may be the single greatest political phenomenon that I've seen in my lifetime. He's talking about his lifetime. And I said, Wow, that's a lot of phenomena you've seen. But Numerous other people have said it too. And here we uh, we stand, and there you stand and sit. Oh, you're able to sit. Oh, that's good. See, we supply chairs. How many people do that? Nobody else supplies chairs. Nobody else does that. Only Trump. Only Trump. That's good. These lights are so bright, I can hardly see who's out. That's a good crowd of people. Wow. That's great. And thank you. Thank you very much. But the system is rigged, and you know, we went through the primary system, and uh, we did have problems here because, you know, it wasn't a vote. Okay, and we halfway got down the tilt, so, so now so well, we're I did going the to do they went through a, a delegate um, system where they just appoint the delegates, and it's all right. It all worked out well. A it all worked out well. You know what? In the end, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Here we are, right? It doesn't matter. And you have some Yellow terrific people in the state, oh, yeah. very smart, very good, and they're going to really be helping us in November and before November. But I know, I know how hard they're working in Colorado, and we're going to we're going to have tremendous. I think we're going to have a tremendous victory here. Uh, a couple of things before I before I really before I really get going. Colorado. My hands NRA, are hurting, guys. That's like so bad. The NRA endorsed you know me. What? We're going to save you Second Amendment 100%. I don't want to do this We're saving you Second but... Amendment. And, and I have to tell you, Miguel. the NRA, these are terrific people. They're terrific people. They love the country. And they take a lot of heat. And they don't have the easiest <laughs> job, I will tell you. But they love the country. Wayne and Chris, and all of the other people I've met from the NRA, and they gave me, I think, the earliest endorsement they've ever given this out under these yeah, circumstances. Sure and they gave me a very early endorsement, that I was very cool. honored by it, but I've gotten to know them, and they love our country, okay? They love the Second Amendment, but they love our country, so you have to remember that about the NRA, because what they do is not easy, not easy. And uh, they're saving the Second Amendment for you, so just remember that. And I'm going to be representing them very well in that regard. No, someone's already in my class. The other that we have to no, talk about is the evangelicals have been so amazing. Uh, we had an event the other day in New York, right? Any evangelicals in the room? Any evangelicals? 
So guys, right, so first guy. we're going to do the meat I've won with the evangelicals in many, many of the states, you know, South Carolina, Nevada, like all of them. We've had great, great success. The South, Alabama, Arkansas, all of them. And we've had unbelievable relationships and unbelievable success. But Ben wanted me to do it. As you know, when Ben got out and he did really well, he was tough. He was a great competitor. He did really, really well when he ran. And he got out. And he, he called me and he said, you know, I love what's going on. You have a movement going on. This isn't like a normal thing. This is a movement. I would love to endorse you. I said, Ben, I would love to have your endorsement. Plenty of people are calling saying we want to endorse you. It's never been that important to me. I will say that Bobby Knight in Indiana was important, right? Bobby Knight was important. But they said, I said, I'd love to endorse you. Then he comes up and goes, you know, I'd love to meet. Now, it's not a big deal. Maybe 150, maybe 200 people. And they could be here in a month in New York, but it would be great. So all of a sudden, the time comes, and my people come in. They say, Mr. They Trump, you won't believe it. It's packed. I said, I'll believe it, because it's always packed. But it's the largest group of clergy, ministers, pastors, evangelicals, Christians. The largest group they've ever had, Where's by far. Where? Over a 1,000. And they wanted to know, could we take two to three hours? So this was the 50. Ben is one of the greatest salesmen I know, right? He said, small group, 15 minutes. They are ready. Turned out to be a large group, three hours. But it was an amazing event. It was an amazing, and I learned. But it was just an incredible group of people. Franklin Graham was there, and Jerry Falwell Jr. from Liberty College, who's a fantastic guy, and uh, so many people, friends, real friends. Ralph Reed. We've had so many friends and people that have really been helpful to me. And I, as an example, uh, Liberty College, everybody goes to Liberty College. And we all make a speech at one of the most beautiful auditoriums, one of the most beautiful colleges I've ever seen, actually. And Thank you. Incredible auditorium.